Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Soma. So now we can get a knock done that. At least I think. If we get that door open, and hopefully no monsters come out of it. Hopefully. Um, alright. So. Um, Catherine, where'd you go? Oh, yeah, there you there are. There you are. Just warming up the Dunbat for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. And that's alien shit all over it. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. Uh, you don't want to share? Okay. She doesn't want to share what she meant by that. Alright. Uh, so we kind of killed Brandon, well, in a sense. I mean, he's, he was dead already. But, uh, we erased his mind, basically. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to have an effect in the ending at all. I'm, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, and we also found some things about ourselves. Do I need to do anything in this console? No. Alright. Let's... Hey, where's my Dunbat? Where's my Dunbat? Seriously. Oh, hang on. Maybe we should... Ah, uh, that's why. That might be why, uh... That wasn't working. Okay, so this... Is pretty. This. And this. Maybe this? This, okay. And this. Okay. <laughs> what the Uh Hey Uh Hey, where did my Dunbat go? I I, I would like my Dunbat, please. Hey Shit. So we need to plug in Catherine because I need to ask Catherine what the fuck just happened. Should we, wait, are any of these doors open? I wouldn't want to go down there even if they were. Um, so maybe I should go back and uh, kind of ask if I can. Hey, oh shit, what do I do? Oh, hang on. Oh, I can push this. Uh, well, that is true, I got super robot strength. Oh yay! Oh, that's gonna be fun. I, I think that was Alice. It sounded like her. <laughs> Ow! And now it's loading because it's all frozen. Okay. Uh, which way do I go? I'm not sure. Plan B. Guys, it looks like we're not gonna get our done that. I mean. The game has been teasing me so much about using that dumb bat, but now... Please tell me that's below us, and not in the vents. And these p vents diverge into different places, so I'm, I hope I'm going the right place. And I wonder what was on the other side. I'm kind of curious, actually. Please tell me Alice um, is underwater and not gonna bother us for some time. I'm kind of thinking that Catherine had something to do with this because she wouldn't she wouldn't yell, Catherine, this is all your fault for nothing. I think she had something to do with the wow and the fact that project was gonna be shut down. I think she did something stupid by like 
releasing the vow or something. What do you want me to do, Simon? Oh. Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an Go elevator which supposedly reaches all oh. the way down into the abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. Alright, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the Ark here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. Do I really want that? You well, didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? I mean, real Simon is dead. And my robot Simon is... I mean, like, why not? Let me explore this room for before... Uh... Whoa. What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural and in payload frameworks. Could you think inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. Let me try. Yeah, why not? Let's get scanned. I mean, I'm a robot, so... Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Yes. Oh, so that's me. Should I be worried about radiation? You're a robot. I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard core texture for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. <laughs> hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. <laughs> and I'm also a woman, apparently. <laughs> At least we know how to get on the Ark. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. Right. So Simon doesn't like, like the idea of being a half-zombie, half-woman type of thing. Uh, and I also don't like the idea of putting my hand into that thing. Hang on, let's see what's here. That's Phi, alright. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. Let's do it. Yay. So what is this? For the safety of you and your colleagues, put on your Neopert undersuit and body harness. Check the HPS for any visual damage. Starting with the legs, fix the parts onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Lock all the pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with the back piece and torso. Tap the secure button on your arm piece. You should hear the suit seal itself. The suit will then start to equalize the pressure and tap into the oxygen tank. If the suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock absorbers and try again. If it still won't work, do not try to fix it yourself. Contact maintenance. Note, the AP HPSs are very heavy and the suit will compensate. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Oh, that sounds cool. Be careful. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive at half marks on equipment. So I'm guessing that's the suit that we need. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the <laughs> 22nd century. Now I know better. I mean, he, he does kind of have a point, Captain. Jeez. 
<laughs> but she really told you. <laughs> oh man. All right, and that looks important. But I'm not gonna remember it, even if it was. So we can just move on. Uh, documents. I've decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go, but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was to put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan, and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. What's left? Apply and phase modules, fill our capsule. Load the bullet. Launch arc. Cool. Uh, also. Back. Arc locator is right there, we know that. So, oh. recently it was decided the arc project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earthly Earth's catastrophic condition. I think Art Project is the most logical step towards saving mankind and that we should spend as much time and resources as we need to complete it. Hmm, it's a tough one. I mean, I feel like they could have done something else, to be honest. With all this technology, like, I don't know. I'm just gonna tadly disagree with that one. To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea, headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical dispersion, no matter how severe, is a small price to save, save mankind. Well, yeah, I think I can agree on that, but, like, how you're saving mankind is not how it's something that I'm agreeing with. But if that's the question, yes. Uh, Dark is built to fit on a Ranger Mark uh, 7 probe, meaning it will meaning it could be shot into the space with Omega space gun, and technically survive for thousands of years living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. Well, I mean, if that's the only way to survive again, but again, I don't particularly agree with the Ark. That's the thing. But I mean, it doesn't matter if they're in Earth or space because the Ark is like a matrix, basically. They're living a computer life. It, it, they think it's real, but it's not. They feel it's real, basically, but it's not. The di digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will out of necessity be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity even if we rid ourselves of disease and our mortality. Mm, I mean, like this, I mean, yes. To be honest, I don't think you're really human if you're just a program inside a simulation. That's just my theory, though. I mean, that's just my view. Sorry, not my theory, my view. My opinion. There are 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences that would in every way appear to be human, but with childlike and na naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the na nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think even an inferior group of artificial people would benefit our society. I strongly disagree with that one. I really don't think. Thank you for participating. This is how your colleagues voted. Huh. I wonder if this is like a set thing, or if this is, if this, like, groups all the answers together from different people. Huh, strange. Alright, uh, Catherine, what are we supposed to be doing? You haven't exactly... Um, hey, what's this? No device connected. What can I connect to? Oh, okay. Alright, so... Well, that's expected. Memory corrupted simulation configuration is necessary. Holy, what the hell? Uh, what the hell is this? Uh, obviously, I need to erase some stuff. Huh, okay, this is a puzzle, and I think I'm understanding what it is. Yeah, it's. I think you're trying to create a scene for the arc, 
but to create a scene it has to make sense so basically we have to have physics of fluid if we're gonna make a beach obviously like <coughs> sorry okay this is the combo that works so basically first of all you have to have the soma uh, module with you also need a water source I just picked the river you also need a light source you can pick the moon for that rather than the sun the moon takes less space because you need to make it make it sure that it's down from uh, it's below 1152 tetrabytes of space physics rigid and that's what the moon requires physics fluid and the river requires buoy and um, soma requires all these atmosphere interface scan daylight blah 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 and forest re requires the vegetation advance so now we can do this that took a while try loading a dummy scan shouldn't be that difficult I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross-section of the process. I wonder if that was a good idea, erasing everybody. Okay, yes, yeah, run diagnostics. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. Okay. So that was weird. Is it, are we are done we, here? Can yeah. we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that was a lot of puzzles. So now the puzzles are actually being puzzles, which was kind of cool. Uh, so, and there's also gigantic Dunbat going around ready to kill me that would be good okay, are we done this scanning <laughs> this spells out a little bit of sneakiness Sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe for now. But you need to get moving. They're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked and I killed the elevator. Pull the connector chip from the lock. Fine. That means you're stuck as well. Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. God damn it, Juan. You just had to be the hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. Tell Alice I love her. Well, Brandon died a hero. That's good for him. Uh, Looks like a part is missing. Yeah. Hmm. Security error. Insert connector chip. I'm assuming that will take us to where we need. Oh, yeah, Brandon did that. Alright. Um, what is... Oh, this is... This is level 1 map. Huh. Totally not liking that sound. Um, let's see. Let's go over here. Sarah, how the hell are we gonna make sure the Ark makes it? Every launch is a crapshoot, you know that. I just wish these numbers looked better. What do you care? It's just a pack of data, right? Yeah, just a pack of data. See, that's how some of the scientists apparently saw this as. Just a pack of data. Not humans. The humans have been gone, apparently. Uh, okay. Okay. What's going on? And this is the thing that I always liked about frictional games, is horror games. That you usually don't know if... The thing is in there with you, or if, it's, if they're just like faking you out. Sometimes when you think you're being faked out, it shows up. And then, <laughs> good luck. Uh, let's see, that place looks important. Kind of does. I wish Catherine will like, at least, guide me a little bit. But there's nothing here. Except this. Oh, they were playing Hangman. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> 
All right, time to move. What is in? What is this? All right. Oh, you're an auto. Okay. Uh, there's something definitely here, and wow, those are some ugly things that I really wish I didn't watch. Hey. Alright, now I'm a little bit terrified. I haven't been scared for a while, so you know something's coming up. Um... So that way it goes to the same place. This is dead end. Okay, good. I like dead ends because, well, you know, unless I'm being chased, but uh, kind of makes you kind of limits your choices on where you could go to progress. And you know, now our only option is either that side or that side. Kind of not feeling good about that side, to be honest. And why is my vision blurry? Like, sometimes Simon's vision goes a little weirdly blurry, and I'm not sure if that's like intended or if it's just like some weird graphical glitch that uh I mean I don't have motion blur on. So it's not that. I should maybe close that. First aid. Huh. Brain scans. Oh. Why are there, like, ocean shit inside that thing? Let's listen up, maybe. Terry Acres, Chief Factor at Delta, first assessment. Brought in today, January 16th, 2104. Reported to be found in his diving suit, unconscious, in water. Acres has clearly been consuming large amounts of structure gel for weeks, probably. Difficult to tell how this has affected his health beyond the obvious number of it, and if it somehow caused him to gouge out his eyes. Small amounts of gel have always been considered perfectly safe to handle, but I can't recall ever hearing about any recommendations on how to treat a poor exposure. Considering its properties, I doubt it's poisonous, but the more transformative aspects of the thoroughfare makes me think that malign cell mutations are not expected. I think... I think I'll need to consult Dr. Eames at all the time about this. Oh shit! It's outside! What the fuck? Oh shit, it's back. That thing is back. The, uh, the shadow thing, the fat shadow motherfucker from the server room. It's, it's back. I don't think it liked me listening to the tape. Uh... Shit. It's here. Why? Why is it here? And you know, that's like... That's like the first time that I think... When I was reading a note or... Listening to something... A monster came. And it's right in this room right now. Simon so Shush, buddy. Or it's gone. It's outside. I think it's going. Maybe I should have kept that other door open. It would have been a quick exit. Type thing. It's right there. I think. Is it? Yeah, it is. Or, no, I'm just saying. Oh, I thought it was like on top of me for a second. That was a chair. My bad. <laughs> and it's not leaving. See, like, this thing... I think has like a sense or something. Of where you are. Or maybe it was because I was listening to the tape. That's also a possibility. I'm... Guessing they react to sounds. Which is actually pretty cool. 
when you think about it, that's actually pretty cool. Um, because it, it's pretty realistic, and I I don't think I've seen that in a game before. Let's close this. Oh, you're alive, kinda. Hey, it's Buddha. Would you like a Buddha? Have a Buddha. Let him comfort you. Acres. Terry Acres. H66 male. One of the worst cases I've seen, and it's most likely his own damn fault. He blinded himself and clogged up his inside for structure jail. I'd be surprised if he ever woke up from the coma. Did it make me think of Hart's absurd story about what happened to him at Lambda. Could it really be that Bao is somehow able to change and rebuild the H? When is the Hart? H28. Heart appears to be in good shape considering the circumstances. Only bruises and mild hypothermia. Hey, monster, please. I'm reading stuff. Long walk. It's difficult to corroborate her story as she is the only one to return. Catherine Chun. As usual, Chun is quiet and does her best to avoid eye contact. She doesn't want to be here. But Strahmeyer demands another evaluation. Chun isn't obstinate, obstinate or dishonest, but she's rather not speak. She'd rather not speak if it can be avoided. She's had, uh, she has a hard time dealing with people in general, including doctors. Catherine Chun is weak in character, the perfect victim to be domineered and pushed around by others. She's a scared mouse. I don't want to upset, so we sit quiet and pass the time. Conrad is dead. He boiled his brain with pulp with a WREM maser following the art needle scan. Clearly another continuity enthusiast, killing himself to take his place on the arc. So that's the cult thing going on, the continuity people that, uh... Is he... Is he getting around by the vents? That would actually be scary if he just, like, popped out of there. <laughs> that would be pretty terrifying. But, uh, so yeah, that's interesting. Like, he shows up... Whatever noise you're making, it's kind of like monstrum, based on sound alone. And what can I break this with? I don't think I have anything strong enough. Is this strong enough? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let me go into this room first. Storage. Right. Ouch. Uh, so these people are still alive, in a sense. I mean, however alive as they might be. Shit. Okay, it's here. Maybe I should have closed the door. It's right there. To my right. Maybe I should go here. Definitely... Uh, Maybe I should close the door. Should I go for it? I don't know if that's a good idea. And also... Uh, please go away. Whatever you are. Is he a robot though? He looks- he looked like a monster down in the server room. Uh. 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 He's... There. Holy shit. He's a monster. He is definitely, definitely a monster. Definitely a monster. Not a robot. Go away. Go away. I had enough monsters in Amnesia. Bring back the robots. Bring back Dicatron and Cocktomus Prime, please. He's coming in here. Are you serious with that shit? Go away. Go away. Go away. Over there. I heard like there's a bunch of monster gathering over there. All all the grunts from Amnesia are coming. It's a it's a it's a nice grunt party. Go over there and I heard there will be free drinks. Monster juice and all that. Yeah, yeah, go, go over there. To the Amnesia Monster Party. Had enough of you guys from Amnesia. I kinda want the robots back. Is he gone? He sounds gone. 
But I'm kind of afraid if I break the glass, it's going to be here again. And not only that, why can I break the glass with? I don't think I have anything strong enough. <laughs> Alright. Um. So, hopefully he's gone. Hey, would this work? No. I need like a chair. I need a chair or fire extinguisher and uh... Shh, Simon. Shh. Um. God damn it, where the hell was it? Can this work? I have this. I hear him somewhere again. And now we hurry because there's definitely something coming. Okay, so yeah. I knew that thing was gonna bring that douche over here because he didn't want to go to the Amnesia Monster party like I told him to but yeah so yeah any noise is gonna bring him over here to us that's good to know all right but uh what was my objective I forgot from avoiding this guy all the time I really have buddy can you seriously go away Really, I forgot the objective. I'm gonna wait till this guy's gone and hopefully find something here. <laughs> Where's he gonna go? I wonder. I wonder if he's gonna disappear from there. He did. You guys saw that, right? He just disappeared. He didn't go in there. He just disappeared. That is strange. Brandon Van. Wow. Okay. You won't get me, motherfuckers! You hear me? Sorry, Brandon. Dated buddy. What is this? I'm sorry about before, Brandon. I'm sorry we couldn't let you rest in peace. Well, he kind of did. He, he's kind of resting in peace now. I mean... Oh, oh, I know what you mean. Like, because you... booted that simulation over and over again. Sorry, it's safe. So, so what the hell did I get? I forgot what the hell I had. Oh, the. Alright, elevator. Right. Shit. I'm dumb. I know, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> kind of trying to think about how to avoid this ass douche problem that we have. Um, yeah. Alright, so where was the elevator? It was here. Right. Okay, good. Um. So, would that work? Now what? Do I have to format the chip? You have... got to be... shitting me. You have got to be... fucking... shitting me. How the hell am I gonna format the chip? It's not like, you know, I can just... say, hey, Windows, please update the shit. Because it's out of date. Where to go? Uh, hey, um, fucking shitholing, stupid ass chip that's out of date. Like, you kidding me with that? How the hell do I format the chip? I don't know. Fucking Catherine, why don't you help me out? I don't 
Oh, where the hell am I going? Is he gone? He's not gone. He's still somewhere. Oh, for fuck's sake! Wow, he juked me! He fucking literally juked me! He, he literally juked me! Did you guys see that? Did you guys see how he juked me? And I thought I was the juke master, but apparently I'm not. Wow! He runs fast. Okay, so running away from him, not a good idea. Am I right? Well, that's good. I still have a chip, I guess. And he's gone. Alright. I need to touch that thing, because that apparently is... I actually researched that. That's um, a health-giving thing. Alright, do it. Ow. Jesus Christ! What the hell? Yeah, sorry buddy, that's the first time you did that, right? It doesn't hurt anymore. Please stop coming here. Dude, are you serious with this guy? Are you serious with this guy? Like, he, he, he's like everywhere. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake, man. How do I avoid this guy? I don't know. Ow. Ow. And now I'm screwed again. Do it. Oh, maybe not. Okay, don't do it. He lost me. Okay. How the hell do I avoid him? I don't know. But what the hell do I with the chip? Do I would do with the goddamn chip is another question. Hang on. Oh, this is gonna make noise. Oh, this is a security room. Not sure how good of an idea that was. But, uh... Can he open doors? Please tell me he can't. Hey. Hang on, what's this? Let's read. Acres is not alone. At least three Proxys creatures. Check and seal doors. Move downstairs. Shuttle to Omicron. Okay. Connector chip detected. Load connector chip. Alright, door lock. System malfunction. Huh. Don't know the things that is that it's doing, but key control. Update this chip. Security messages. I wish I had time to read those, but I really, really do not. Okay, so chip is updated. That's good for the chip. And good for me. Binder. Shh. Okay. So, he's probably somewhere around here. Which is not good. What is that? Uh, Omega Management. So that's the locked one. Uh, so yeah, he's still around here, obviously. Like, he, he's just coming and going. Like, it's nothing. Uh... But uh, we need to move on. Let me listen to this thing for a second. Stromer, you there? I hear you, Brandon. What do you got? Akers and his critters are ferocious. They pick up on every move. There's no way past them. Then we'll fight them. We got to get to the shuttle. And end up like Shank and Adams? No way. Listen, I'll create a distraction and pull them to me. Get the gang to the shuttle station. Wait, Brandon, what are you doing? Don't worry, Alice. Back as soon as you guys are safe. Just load up the shuttle and be ready to go. Are you sure about this? I don't plan to die today, sir. See you at the shuttle. So that's great. They pick up on every move. Blah blah blah. And Brandon died because of that. Alright, I'm gonna, he's around here. I need him to get away from a little bit. Then I'm gonna open this door. Hide. Then I'm gonna make a run for it. 
I think that might work. Is he there? I can't s can't see anymore because all the lights are out now. Well, not this one, but okay. All right. Shit! Stupid fucking can. Kidding me? Okay. Okay. And really, I need I need to do all that. Go 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 somewhere anywhere but here. Go 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 go. Hurry up! Oh shit! Stupid fucking elevator. Move. <laughs> Holy shit, man! <laughs> he was coming at us after you know all the clamping and all the other stuff. <laughs> it's it's the 22nd century, and apparently you need to clamp the little chips down. They didn't invent any chips that are like. And that happens. Please tell me there's no monster coming. Elevator? Of course, it always happens in a horror game. Like, you're in an elevator, enjoying a nice ride. You've gotten away from everything. But no. And then that happens. Yep. Ouch. Well, at least we're in a zombie body. You might want to get out. You seriously, seriously might want to get up because that elevator does not look uh, like it's okay. Nice place we're in. Very nice. So <laughs> I'm gonna cut it here, guys. That was one hell of a ride. It really was. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.